Over the past few months, we've been checking out these mini arcades, each of them unique in their own way. The last system released was the Mini V. It had great games, but was played with terrible latency. The only other vertical machine was the Egret 2 Mini. With its large variety of slower paced games, the latency could be forgiven. But the Taito Egret 2 Mini had its own share of problems. There were games without the English version of the text, black areas around the screen, incorrect aspect ratios, and uneven scaling on the HDMI out. With Taito's updated firmware, let's see how many problems it can fix. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. So if we go to the Egret 2 Mini website, there is an update available, but we might need to change the language to English. This is the product page for the Egret 2 Mini. If we keep scrolling down, we can find the firmware update. As we want more information, click this. And on this page, we have all the information needed to update. From stock, this is the firmware version. And we'll update to version 110171. According to the change log, all 50 titles have been reviewed. So there is hope for a language fix for Kadash. And this bit here is very interesting. Hopefully this will fix the oval bubbles in Bubble Bubble. Outside that, there's alterations with games and fixes for those with the paddle and trackball. According to this, we'll need an SD HC card formatted to FAT32. So we bought this from Amazon, pretty cheap. We recommend either Samsung or SanDisk, but as long as it's genuine branded card, we should be good. You're not strong enough, cut it out. Ah, oh, tea time. We're gonna use Rufus to format it to FAT32. You can use the Windows formatter if you wish, but Rufus is very thorough. Hit the start button and let it do its thing. So now we're formatted, press close. We can download the Egret 2 Mini firmware from the website. I'll download it to the SD card itself. So now we need to extract firmware.bin from the zip file. Just click and drag it to the SD card. Now we can select and delete all the other files. And now our SD card is ready. So we need to eject it. We can move back to our Agro 2 Mini. First, remove the power cable. Then set the power switch to on. Now we can insert our SD card. Hold down E and F, they're the top two buttons. And then insert the power cable. Keep the buttons held in and wait. That is what she said. Seriously. Followed by get out of my house freak. As soon as we got this blue screen, we can let go of the buttons. The whole process from now on is automatic. Blue screen. Looks like we need to get Bill Gates here start. Actually no. I don't like his stupid face. Once updated, the unit will reboot. Then on the settings screen, we'll go to reset factory settings. Just be aware that this will remove all save states. And that's it, we're done. So with the new firmware, let's check out the settings. We still can't turn the background music off. And even though we set language to English, Kadash is still fully in Japanese. Hentai des. Konnichi wo. We're happy to see that they changed the filter option to work correctly. Now when it's off, we get the clear image. And when it's on, we get the bilinear filtering. We're extremely happy to see games like New Zealand Story use the full screen. We also have a fixed aspect ratio, so Bubble Bubble looks sublime. And here's Vulfide. And my all-time favorite game, Truxton. The improvements to HDMI out are also very welcome. Some games like Hattrick Hero remain unaltered. Whereas the game Space Invaders actually becomes thinner, replicating the real cabinet. Uneven pixels are still present, but if you want to get around this, you can use the bilinear filtering. We also tested for system latency, and there's little to no improvements across the board.
It's great to see that Taito are rolling out updates, fixing some of the issues with their Egret 2 Mini. Maybe in the future we can have better control support and Kadash in English. Currently, the Taito Egret 2 Mini is standing way above the competition, and soon we can expect a port of Batacera. Here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. If you want to support our work, please jump on. Or you can simply like, subscribe, and do all that fancy stuff. I would actually like a hot dog. I'll be waiting in the seat of my Honda Civic, the one that is playing some banners. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! All she wants is another baby, she's gone tomorrow boy. All that she wants is another baby, oh... Hey.